What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Shorted, Shortest Distance to a Character. You're given a string S and a character C. You got to return an array of integers representing the shortest distance from the character C in the string. So in this case we have input S is equal to love lead code. C is equal to the character E. Okay? And then it's going to output 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 1, 0. The reason why it does this is because the shortest distance between this E right here is 1 from, from L. It's 1, 2, 3. Right? So that's 3. From O, it's 1, 2. Right? From B, it's 1. And that's to E. From E, it's just zero. From L, it's actually just one. So it's one. Uh, because because it could go this way, one, E, L, or E, L this way. E is zero, E is zero, because it's zero. Um, T is going to be one, because go like there, one. From T to E is one. So that's why it's one here. Uh, it's two here because from C is going to be two right here. One, two to E. This distance is two. So that's, that's two. Um, from O, the shortest distance to E is one, two. Because the E on the right, and that's two. D is one, and then E is zero. Okay. So I actually, my code is too crazy here. You won't understand what I was doing, but there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the solution of what they did and explain how that works. So first of all, uh, you want to return the an array of integers representing the shortest distance. right? So you need to create an array that has the same size as a string. So that's what I did here, vector int, shortest distance, s dot size. Then Oh yeah, you gotta return it. So I return shortest distance. And I'm gonna create a for loop, and this is gonna go through every single character. Okay. So a few things you gotta know about this. In order to there are two ways you could go about this. You have to go through the left, left side, or the right side. This way. From this way or this way. Because the distance that you could travel for the shortest distance could be either way. Because in this case, as you can see in this E, the E value here, it's zero, right? But the shortest distance between D E is one, right? Uh, actually, that's a bad example. Um, let's see, let's say C, C, right? From, from C to the left, the E value would be two. From C to the right, to the e to the right, the, the value would be 3. So the shortest distance would actually be the minimum of whatever comes from left and the right. As you see here, the this e is 2, and shortest distance from c to this, the right e is 3. So if, if the, the minimum from the left would be 2, and the compared to the one for 3 on the right. So how would you do this? Well, first you have to go through the, the left, from left to your value, and then from the right to your value, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go just explain the solution because it's much easier. If you go from left to right, you could keep track of the previous index of the last character, C. So once you get the value of C, you can keep track of that. The distance it would be would be i minus previous. Previous being the index of the last character c. Reason why is because in this case, let's say the let's say I find e. Okay, let's say I find e, and it's this index is zero, one, two, three. So this e's index here is three. So the shortest distance in this case would actually be from my current i, 0, minus 3, it would be 3. So it would be i minus the previous value. So 
zero, uh, 3 minus 0 would be 3, so that would be there. In this case, from 2, it would be your 2's and x is 1, right? Uh, O's from O is 1, and the index of the E is, th is 3. Remember 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3 minus 1 would get you 2 here. And it's the same thing for V. V's index is 0, 1, 2, 2. E minus uh, 3 minus 2 would be 1, so that would be 1. So yeah, that's the whole gist of it from the left side. Whoops, my bad. Uh, I clicked on a, I clicked back by accident. But that's how you go from the left side. It would be I minus your previous. So I'll code that right now. Essentially, what we have to do is we have to create previous is going to equal, uh, in this case, they did the total integer dot min because they're trying to find the whatever value it is. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do, actually, I could do that. Um, integer dot min. Actually, let me see. C plus plus integer smallest integer integer int underscore min okay so int underscore min okay so this is going to be the smallest integer previous uh, we're going to check if s is at i is equal to the value c we said previous is going to equal the value i okay and then our answer in our array, shortest distance, at i is going to equal to i minus previous. Okay? So in this case, 0 minus. So in the beginning, this these values would be actually infinity or minimum at the smallest value possible, like negative. So these in the beginning, the, these values would actually be junk. Because I would be 0 minus previous, which is nothing currently. You don't know what previous is, so yeah, that would be negative infinity. This would be negative infinity, that would be negative infinity, and that would be negative infinity. Okay, so that's that. Um, now we have to go from the right side, and the right side would be previous minus I. The reason why we're go doing that, uh, here they're going to set the this says int max. Yeah, I don't think it really matters, honestly. Oh, yeah, they, they set previous equal to int max because now we want to find the maximum value, the maximum previous. So that's why they did int max. So I'm going to go from now, I'm going to go from the right side, which is for this distance dot size. I is greater than or equal to zero. I minus minus. This we're going to start at size minus one. Okay. If, it, if the character at the current index is equal to C, we're going to set previous is going to equal to I. Okay? From the right side, it's going to be previous minus I, and I'll explain that right now. In this case, let's say we're going from the right side, and our E is here. If you want to go from the right side, the current index from okay from well, let's say let's say oh the the previous value would be e right which would be the the length of the array which would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it would be twelve when we our current O would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? So our the value that we would get would be previous, which is 12 minus i, which is previous minus i. 12 minus 10 is going to be 2. And I'll get you your right here. Okay? So that's that's how you do it. But then also we want to get the minimum distance. Remember, we need we want the minimum distance, not just the shortest distance for the value. So we are going to do shortest distance 
at i is going to equal um, the minimum of shortest distance at i and previous minus i. Okay? And that should get you it. Previous minus i would get you the smallest value on, uh, would get you the value, the distance from the right side. Shortest distances are, the, our current shortest distance is i minus previous. And yeah, that would get you your thing. We'll run the code. Hold up. Shortest distance not declared in scope. I did. Oh, shortest dis. Um, dis. Whoops. Okay. Now we're running. integer overflow you can't measure oh okay so what they did was they divided by two just to get uh, whatever value it is to make sure there's no overflow in this case it really doesn't matter in the beginning it's going to be negative and here it's going to change so hold up there we get these values submit it and it got accepted so yeah, that's how you do this. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to display shortest distance every time, just to show you guys what it is. And here I'm gonna display shortest distance. Uh, here I'm gonna just see out and. And then here I'm going to do see how short is distance. Null terminating string. Oh, whoops. Unresolved overflow. Whoops. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay, now I'll try it. Okay, so in the beginning, it's going to be infinity, infinity, infinity. Then when you finally get to the character at uh, C, or this one, it's going to change to 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, stuff like that. So in the beginning, the left value would be very large. Once you get to the first E, it would change, and then it would set the right values from here. Uh, after that, once you do the comparison, it would be the right values in the end. So yeah, so that's how you do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really tired right now. I'm going to do some other stuff. I have some homework I got to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys in the next video. I might actually, I'll see if I could post daily, but I'll try. Alright, rate, comment, subscribe. Check you guys later. Peace.